What it do out there, everybody? My 32 games, my fans out there. Lost with Jerry's back. Um, today wasn't a good day. Not for me at all today to come to the dub show. I wanted to be there. Come be there. Um, the only thing that really happened was when I got up this morning, man, I woke up, man, something woke me up in my sleep. My whole right side of my eye was just draining. Then it started hurting real bad, you know. So, I don't know what it was. But when that got to hurting really bad, you know, I sat down and drank me a cup of coffee, you know, stuff like that. And had me a little breakfast. And uh, then the right side of my brain here got to aching me really bad. I don't know what that could have been from, man, but it was that. Then I was losing a little breathing thing that was going on. You know, I was feeling tired. Even though when I got up, I was feeling very tired. And then I started putting my hand on my on my chest, you know, trying to see if my heart is beating fast or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it kind of scared me a little bit, you know. So I had went back inside the house, sat down and relaxed a little bit more. But, you know, I can't relax in the house too much at all, you know. And so I just sat there anyway. And my body just felt tired. I don't know what it's from or what's going on or maybe I don't think I was doing too much at all, you know. But all I know that the heat always gets to me. When it's hot outside, you know, it gets to me, you know, it drains me out, you know, and... Well, my age, you know, I can't really be in the sun anyway. So, then, after that, you know, I'm texting CJ, giving him the information up there and stuff to come up that way and stuff. And I still couldn't even get myself up and say, hey, I'm finna go up to this dub show. I could not get myself up and go to it. You know what I'm saying? Because my body was feeling a little bit different than it was, you know. Yesterday was okay, but today was more like... I don't feel like moving or why is my head is hurting? Why is my right eye is hurting? You know, stuff like that. So I do need to get back to the doctor and do another checkup on me and stuff, see what's going on and stuff. But I just didn't feel like doing anything, you know, and I did. So I didn't come up there today. I didn't go out today. I've been at the house all morning long, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, took my daughter to go get a piece or something like that, and I still was feeling tired, so, and I'm back at home, and I'm out here in the garage right now because I'm hungry, I'm trying to cook me a fruit couple hot dogs out here on this grill, and get back inside and sit back underneath the air, but, man, you know, when you start getting older, your body changes a whole lot, you know, it changes different ways. You know, I was looking at my neighbor and be like, he come home from work, he goes in the house, he sit there and he chills with his wife all day long. And he don't make a move outside unless he really got to go to a store or something like that. And I pretty much don't see him at all when he do go to work from Monday to Friday, even on the weekends he's at home. And I spoke to him last week, you know, he was like, man, Jerry, we're in that age, man, and got to be able to sit back and relax. I don't know nothing about sitting back and relaxing. You know, I like getting out, enjoying myself with a little time, you know, with friends and families and stuff like that. But I've been sitting back. I've been sitting back chilling. I've been worrying about a lot of stuff. You guys know I've been worrying about a lot of stuff. And like now, my head is hurting right here. I don't know why, but it's hurting again. But, you know, just like I said, I need to find a way to get everything taken care of, you know get a lot of stuff on my mind I've been having a lot of stress that's going on every single day every day I'm sitting back thinking about what I'm gonna do about a car how I'm gonna come up with the money only thing I can figure out just sit back and go to work every single day cuz I go back to work on Monday only thing I can do is sit back and wait till that check come or save it up and wait till another check come and save it up and go ahead and get my car see what I'm saying I just ran into a a 98 Delta 88 Oldsmobile. The guy won $3,200 for this car. I'd rather get it for $3,000 $3, lease. And it's clean with low miles, 
runs good, clean inside. All right, clean inside and outside. I haven't checked underneath the car, and it still looks like brand new underneath the car. So, I know what type of car this here. It's a one owner car, and it's owned by an old couple. And I would like to have that car because she said her husband passed away. He's gone, and she don't drive. So she wants to sell the car. So with 72,000 miles on it, that car is worth it for that 3000 3, You see what I'm saying? And it's a four-door. Everything works. Leather seats. Everything is in great shape. This, the floors, the carpet, dashboard, everything works. She let me drive it. You know, I took it for a little ride. Came back. That car rides good. It, it rides like a brand new because I owned one back in the day. You know, that was my one of my first cars I had. So, I know what that car is all about. Underneath that hood is beautiful. Still looking beautiful, man. Ain't no rust nowhere on this car. Nowhere. No dents, no nothing. Everything is original. Even the power antenna on the back of the trunk raises up as soon as you turn it on. And it goes down when you turn it off. So, you know what I'm talking about. And it's all white car with a hard top. But I got to get that car in my hands. If I can't get it from my partners out there, my friends and stuff, Lawsuit Jerry going to do what he got to do to get this car. I don't care if I give a little money every time just to hold that car there for me until I pay it off to get it. But I would love to have that car. And she sat there and showed me the title of this car. Man, it's a dream car. I would love to have this car. I need something to drive back and forth to work with. I got to have it for my wife and kids to go to the doctor. I got to have this car in my hands. So if you want to leave a nasty, dirty comment about what I'm talking about, you can do so. I'm not going to delete you from this. I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking straight from my heart because I got to have something for me and my family. And that's been stressing me out every single day. Every day. You know, I'm getting tired of driving my sister-in-law's car and my mother-in-law's car. I got to have my own car. They, they give me the car for I can have just in case they need to go somewhere, okay? But right now, Lawsuit Jerry is just tired, man. I'm tired. And I need to find a way and get this done and get it taken care of my way. So that means I need to get the humping out here. If I am hurting in the head or I blank out or whatever, I still got to go to work every single day. And I'm going to do that every single day until something stops me. But I got to keep on pushing myself, just like I'm pushing myself on YouTube every day. So, I got to do what I got to do. I'm sharing this with you guys because I care about you guys and I love you guys out there. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all part of the Lawsuit Jerry game. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to do what I got to do every single day. No matter what. So, I'm tired of working for everybody out there. I need to work for myself and get myself back on track. Because I've never been down this long. Never. Never in my life. Ain't like I can pick up the phone and say, hey, cuz, I need $3,000 so I can get me a car and I pay you back. It doesn't work that way. It, ain't, it never worked that way until if I had my oldest brother still alive, then he will help me out. You see what I'm saying? I won't have to need that help for nobody unless he was alive. If he was alive, I, he'll help me out with it. But I don't have him here with me at all. And that's what pisses me off because he's not here to help me. You see what I'm saying? He left me here by myself the way I see it. But then again, I'm here by myself to fucking take care of my family. See what I'm saying? So I got to take care of my family, no matter what it takes. So I just can't see myself taking care of my older brother and my older sister. I got to watch out for me. So that means when I need something out there, I got to do it myself. See what I'm saying? I can't take no hand out from somebody else. I can't even be looking for somebody to help me out with this. I got to do it my way. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not going the wrong way trying to get money in my hand to get me a car. I don't need that. That's the wrong way they're doing business out there. I'd rather go out there and sweat it out, you know, work hard, be tired, coming home every day, and get that paper check in my hand, you know, and turn to green money. And then go straight to my account. But I got to be able to keep it there if I can get me something. I got to hurry up with this. So I ain't got nothing to but hold my money in account and get the things that I need to get. See what I'm saying? So, just like I said, I'm sorry I didn't make it to the dub show. I wanted to. I couldn't. I'm in pain with my head and my eyes. I don't know what it is. But now, it's getting close to go back to work. So I'm going to have to find a way to get to my doctor after work and then take care of myself. You see what I'm saying? I got the insurance. 
I can go ahead and set my appointment with my doctor and get me going. At first, it was with the mouth. I got to go back again in about a couple more weeks before they can take everything out my mouth and get ready to get the new stuff put in. See what I'm saying? So I am trying to get everything done. First, it's my mouth to get done, but then again, after Monday morning, afternoon, I'm going to call my doctor and say, can I get in there and get a nice checkup and see what's going on with me so far and making sure what's really going on in my brains here. I don't tuck too tall nor as Airville's today. That stopped aching for a minute, but the pain is still coming back. So there's something going wrong in there. So, man, you know, leave whatever you want to leave on my comment, man. You know, I pretty much don't care anymore, but go ahead and leave whatever you want to leave there. But, you know, just like I said, if you want to do thumbs up, you can. You want to scratch my channel, you can. All right? Lost with Jerry got to go, man.